Hello and welcome to our corner of the internet. My name is Mara Ghost and today we've got a bit of a different video. So I'm actually packing for a weekend trip to Boca Raton in Florida. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm going to try and pack everything into one bag. So this is the Goruk GR1 21 liter. So one of the first items we've got here is just going to be a regular hoodie. Now this is actually a hoodie that I got from Jacksepticeye. It's going to be the PMA hoodie or positive mental attitude. And I folded it in a way to take up less space and that's just going to go at the top of our bag. Next we've just got a fancy shirt. I'm going to be going to a graduation party for one of my cousins, so I just wanted something to dress up nice with. This is just from Craft & Flow, nothing too special, got it from Ross, super affordable. Next up we've got some jeans from this brand called Lucky Brand or The Lucky Brand. Um, and they're just some regular blue jeans, they're super comfortable and stretchy and I like them. I got them for my birthday. Yet yeah, another thing that I got from Ross are these super comfortable pair of joggers. They feel really nice and I like to use them to lounge in. And next up here, we've just got some underwear and a packing cube. I've also got some socks. So for this trip, I'm bringing two pairs of socks and three pairs of underwear. I'm gonna be staying from Friday to Sunday. Now this is just some random toiletry kit that I got. I think it's from like an airplane or something. I don't know, but I just used it for the form factor because I don't want to bring my larger Peak Design uh, dot kit. So this is what I went with instead. Super simple, minimal, all I really need for this trip. We've just got a leather belt here, super simple. It doesn't really need much explanation. This one has two prongs on the buckle instead of just one. So this Hydro Flask is one of the slimmer water bottles that I own, and I just want something that was lightweight and slim to fit in the bag because I'm trying to fit everything into one single bag. So that's why I chose that. So these are some merino wool shirts from a brand called Wooly, and honestly I don't really like them too much. I don't know if it's the material or if it's the brand itself, but I don't know. You always hear great things about merino wool, and this one just didn't really impress me too much. So we'll see how it fares on this trip. Here we've just got my Sony noise canceling headphones. I'm not even going to try to remember the name. It's just super complicated, but these are the Mark IVs. I believe the Mark Vs recently came out. Um, so these are now outdated, but I still love them and they have amazing sound quality and noise cancellation. Here I've just got my small EDC kit, so I've just got a tactile turn bolt action pen, a Kaiser Uprising, and a Raylite LAN. I've also got a notebook and an air tag in the zipper pocket in the back just to keep track of it. And this is just a random mask. I think it's from Tom Bin. I'm not sure, honestly. Also some chapstick, nothing really too special here. This right here is my portable charger. I think that's from Aki or from Anchor, um, but it's like 10,000 milliamp hours or milliamp whatever. It's really good, I really like it. Um, and you might notice that there's actually some stuff already in here. This is my tech pouch that I carry with me in my everyday carry backpack with just my laptop charger and some cables and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I also forgot to put that handkerchief in there, so I'm just throwing that in the top quick access compartment. My AirPods Pros are going to go in my tech pouch on the outside just to keep like tech with tech and all that stuff and to save some space in the top quick access compartment. So on this trip, I'm actually bringing my Roku. Um, so this is just a regular like base model 1080p um, Roku. It's super small, so it's great for travel. Um, and yeah, I just don't like hotel TVs because I don't want to use their smart features if they are smart TVs. Um, I prefer to use my own thing, so I just have my Roku. Here I've also got a book that I'm currently reading called Your Money or Your Life. It's like a personal finance book. I really enjoy it so far.
And here in this front pocket, I just wanted to show you like an HDMI cable and the power cable for the Roku that I just didn't get to showing. Just didn't want to bog down the video with a ton of stuff. But I've also got the remote for the Roku and the power brick for the Roku that are gonna go in the front horizontal or the front uh, pocket on the GR1. All right, now we're gonna try and close it up. So this is going to be a really tight fit. I'm not gonna lie, but I do feel really confident in the GR1 to hold this because of the stitching and the craftsmanship. I really wanted to fit everything into one bag, so I really pared down a lot of the things that I would usually take with me on a trip in order to fit it in this 21 liter bag. And I don't know if this is cheating, but I'm actually going to hang my extra pair of shoes on the top carry handle. The reason I'm doing this is just so I can keep everything into one bag and it's just convenient and I can take it off and leave it in the car if I need to. So this is what it looks packed out. I'm super proud. I really wanted to do this as neatly as possible. Um, and I'm just super happy with how this came out. It looks really neat. And I'm glad that I was able to fit everything into a small 21 liter bag. I'm usually not a minimal traveler, so I feel like I went from one end of the spectrum to the complete opposite. Trying to fit everything into a 21 liter bag was tough, uh, but I really didn't want to use the duffel bag that I had. One, because it was too big, and I also didn't like the quality. It was before I kind of got into bags and carry, and it just wasn't too great. So I wanted to use this instead. So also here's just a final look at my front tech pouch just with my portable charger, AirPods, Roku, um, laptop charger, cables, things like that. I totally forgot to show my MacBook, but there it is. That's where I keep my laptop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like down below. And if you really loved it, then maybe consider subscribing. I make videos on bags, everyday carry, and tech. And if that sounds good to you, then you should definitely subscribe. We're almost at 500 subscribers. And if you joined, I would really appreciate it. If you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at MaraGhost. But that is all. I have been MaraGhost, and I'll haunt you tomorrow. Bye bye Here we go.